sing the whole day long, it's not enough. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, RobertAnton.com. Here with another So You Wanna Be a Singer. Why you wanna do that? <laughs> So let me kick this thing off here. I just wanted to rant for a second and talk about something because a lot of people have written me and it's, oh man. Okay, so most recently a young person wrote me. This person is like 20 years old and they're like, is it too late for me to start singing? I mean, I really want to do this. I love to sing, you know, and I would like to do it for a living. And, and I'm like 20. <laughs> Maybe you want to slip my wrist. <laughs> I'm twice that age, okay? And of course, yes, I started when I was very, very young. But it's never too late to start singing, one, for fun and because you love it and maybe you get out and you get in a choir or you, you sing with a group and you guys are just, you know, going around the city or, or doing little tours everywhere, you know, just for fun. But even as a profession, it's never too late to get into it. Why? Well, I, 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 the easiest way I can explain this is I met a lady a long time ago. It had to be at least 15 years ago. I was at an audition, was auditioning for something, and we met and got to talking and everything. And she was telling me how she had just gotten back into singing after a whole lot of stuff. And she was a grandmother. She had to be at least 55, okay? And um, But she loved it so much, and something drew her back into it. So... Uh, we got to talking and stuff, and she didn't get the gig. I ended up performing at this club and, and doing the thing that, that we were auditioning for. But for some reason, or somehow maybe we ran into each other one or two more times, and then we started keeping in touch. So now we're still in touch on Twitter. And in 2008, she came out with her first CD, a jazz CD. And it was great. She was so excited about it and everything. And, and she got great reviews for it. 2009, she came out with her second CD. And people, it made it to the 2009 Grammy Awards pre-nom list. Yes, she was on the pre-nomination list for the 2009 Grammy Awards. Um, she's now 73 years old. She is singing all the time. She's doing shows. She has much respect in the jazz community. Um, and she didn't start or restart because I believe she sang when she was younger and then she had kids and grandkids and something happened and she stopped singing for a long time but she decided after a while that listen this is really what I want to do and she got back into it 60 something years old when she got back into it okay um, she is 73 now it's never too late it is never too late to do what you love. I recommend doing it as early as possible. I recommend, especially for you young people who are watching, that if your first love is music, if your first love is singing, follow your first passion, your first love. And then if that doesn't work out, you can always do something else later on. You can always retrain to be whatever you need to retrain to be. But you should follow your passion first. You know, I followed mine first, and all of my life I've sang for a living. You know, of course, I had to have side jobs every now and then. I worked as a waiter for years and years and years. I did catering. You know, I've done promotional jobs for um, different sales agencies and different companies. Um, but I love what I do. My job is performing. And now my day job is actually performing at corporate events and weddings and bar mitzvahs. And I absolutely love it. And I get to do my own original music on the side, you know. And who knows, one day that may blow, blow up. That, that may be my main source of income. But if not, I still get to do it all the time. I still get to, I get to do what I love. I get to perform. I get to sing. I get to use my gifts um, for my daily bread. And that is so exciting, and it's never too late. If you're 50, 60, 70 years old, and you still have the passion for it, you still have the love for it, then it's never too late. All right, I hope this has uh, helped. And I'm going to put the links to the woman I'm talking about, Ellie Fordyce. She has actually a link um, on its... Uh, grindmodeconnect.com I'm going to put the link in the uh, description box for you guys to go and check out her music oh my god it's, I, I think it's just wonderful and she looks she looks on the picture on her page like she's 50 you know because music keeps you young and doing what you love whether it's music or something else 
keeps you young. It keeps you interested. It keeps that enthusiasm, acceptance, enjoyment, enthusiasm. If you approach everything that you do with one of those three things, then you will always be successful. All right, this is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. I'm out. Peace. I could sing the whole day long. Oh, 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 don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. Okay, make sure to tune in um, for Valentine's Day because I have something special coming for you guys. All right, bye.